Hello, you awesome people. We are still in the Dino Valley because we have lots to do in here. So let's see what Berserlius wants. Oh, no. Hi, Rose. I thought a little more about Frank's affliction and I think I've got a solution. My plan is quite simply genius. Even if I do say so myself, Frank will surely be back to his old self in no time, with only a small chance that he'll die a spectacular death. But life is full of risk, as my old dad used to say. We use we just need to keep our fingers crossed that it'll go well. Have a positive mental attitude, Rose. PMA. As I'm sure you'll remember, Frank was sort of a zombified by a lightning strike to his to the head. The solution is as easy as it is logical. We need to subject his brain to a similar strong electric shock. But this time we'll let the current flow in the opposite direction. My theory is that when Frank's brain goes through his uh, uh, this kind of inverted anti-lightning, it'll go right back to all of its normal settings. Doesn't that sound good? You look a little bit so skeptical, Rose, but you can't trust me. You want to know if I've tried this technology before? Oh my days, of course not! The whole point is to be groundbreaking with this and, and hopefully take home one, maybe two Nobel Prizes. Oh great. Now you'll have to stop with all the questions. Uh, we can discuss more later. Here's a little. L here's a lightning analysis unit right to the place I've marked out and pushed the button. The machine will analyze the area and let you know if it's somewhere that lightning has struck twice in the past. Find such a place, Rose, and then I can tell you all about how to capture a lightning bolt. Good luck. Oh boy. Lightning ball, yeah, sure. Uh, let's just. Oh, there's a lot of trash lying around. Let me guess, I'm going to have to pick it up. Oops, got stuck. Of course, I did. Come on. So here is the area. Yay! Basically, that was the area I already knew about it. Uh, I'm not looking forward to more quests about this little thingy. Because uh, it was so hard. It's basically uh, anger issues, maybe. <laughs> no, I don't know. We'll see how it goes later on. It's a bit tricky. Let's just say that. Good work, the place you found is perfect. So now we found a spot where lightning is going to strike enough times to be able to charge the super battery 100% with electricity. What super battery am I talking about? Why, this one right here that I ordered from Seabay. It's really great, Rose. In, it only costs a thousand Yorvik shilling and is apparently the most effective than 20,000 car batteries. And if that wasn't cool enough, it's totally biodegradable, nicely designed and can also be used as a rather lovely footstool in the bedroom. Unbelievable. No, as soon as, no. As soon as I read all about it, I ordered two. A scam? What do you mean a scam? You're saying it's a scam and I've been tricked. That is just some con artist who put the listening up on a sea bay to scam people money of them. They're really, there's really people who do that? That's totally illogical. Oh dear. Well, what do we do now? <coughs> Ahem. Ahem. Professor Einstein seems to be very keen to get yours and Bertilius the engineer's attention. Oh, really? I thought I was done with you today. I couldn't help but hear that you're having a little battery problem. I wouldn't usually poke my nose into other people's work, but when a colleague has been subjected to this kind of swimbling deception... Brasilius, I've been here for a much longer time than you, uh, almost an eternity. And during those two days I made an important discovery. A strange mineral by the name of Callstone. Uh, okay. 
Uh, you understand, callstone is an odd material with quite remarkable properties. Even without having been able to take a close examination of some samples, I can see that it seems to have a remarkable capacity for energy storage. It also seems very unstable. The more energy it contains, the more sensitive it is to any kind of impact. What happens if it's subjected to external pressure or impact? Well, it explodes. With some considerable power, I might add. Well, well, enough with that explanation, so you'll need to find some callstones that don't contain any energy. Ones that have been used and discharged, let's call it lifeless callstones. These lifeless callstones can be transported without risk and used to build your own battery. Do you understand, Rose? Good, good. Just keep in mind that then when callstone is fully charged, it's also fully dangerous. Handle it with care. Oh, okay. A callstone battery. Genius! Rose, you ha or you heard what Elsa Einstein said. Look for lifeless callstone. I'll look for a suitable container for our very own super battery while you do that. Good luck. Oh boy. Hmm. Lifeless callstones. Sorry for lifeless callstones. Always a long way to ride in here. Oh. Yep. Okay, so somewhere around here. There. We have a lifeless cult down here. Can't see it, but sure. And somewhere. Ah! Really? That wasn't an issue. Come on now. Another one. We need five. to home basically No dangers, which is bullshit, because there are holes everywhere. If you get stuck, you have to call home and ride all the way back again. Yeah. <laughs> How much lifeless discharge calls have you found? About five. Great! This is definitely enough. Me? Oh, I found this old bag here. Not exactly what I was imagining, but uh, I'm sure it'll work. Positive mental attitude, Rose. Okay. So here we go, Rose. Now we're really starting to get somewhere. To be able to charge our homemade super battery, we need a lightning rod to conduct the lightning wood. I'm not exactly certain what we could use, but I suppose we'll just have to improvise. Can you see if there's anything around that's long metal and looks like it can withstand hurricanes and lightning? Where would you find something like that? No idea, but I use a positive mental attitude, Rose. PMA is A-OK. -okay. okay. Well, we need two wires which can transmit electricity from the lightning rod to the battery. The wires need to be able to withstand strong electrical currents and not just flake out after the first lightning strike. I can see on your face that you're wondering where you f might find something like that, but Rose, I know exactly how you'll make this work. Just use your imagination and positive mental attitude. Attitude, PMA, Rose, PMA. Good luck and head straight back when you've found two wires. Can anyone explain to me what PMA is? <laughs> 
Like seriously, I'm like PMA. What is PMA? A washing line. Me, me, you could, could use that. <laughs> that is great. I'll see. That's a clip. No, that wasn't good. Okay. I was confused. Oh, we're off again into the wilderness to find something. Hmm. What will we find over here, do you think? Oh, right! The helicopter wreckish, wreckage. Yeah, that could be used. Awesome. Oh, we're done. Great. I'm so smart. <laughs> oh boy. Doing these quests here in the Dino Valley can be really energy taking. It's just so long. But we can't really complain. We like the long quests. But doing a let's play on them is even more energy taking. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. We have everything. Part of the helicopter's rotor. Hmm, why not? I'm sure it'll work just wonderfully. Oh, I thought I was done, but apparently I wasn't. Oh, I'll go in here. Fine. <laughs> apparently we're going to the elevator, I believe. Something around here? Is it inside? Oh yeah. Can I go in with a horsey? I could! Awesome. Yes, inside the locker is a long steel cable. Perfect. Indeed, that's perfect. I took the long road around, stupid me. Oh well. It's not that long. <laughs> we have everything we need. Now, an elevator cable and a washing line. <laughs> well, why not? I'm sure it'll work perfectly. I can feel it. You can feel it. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> oh, Rose, this is going very, really well. The next step is actually incredibly dangerous, but I have a feeling that it'll go just swimmingly. Just use that positive mental attitude and nothing terrible will happen. Don't look so worried, Rose. I'll guide you every step of the way. Here's my latest invention, the lightning capture unit. It's super easy to capture lightning wood. Ride to the lightning ri rich spot you found earlier and set the machine up there. It's really important you put it all together in the right order, otherwise I it can go really rather horribly wrong. Explosions, blood, death and all kinds of other awful things we'll probably wouldn't enjoy. Haha, <laughs> away with all that negativity in a t thought. <laughs> Get rid of all those negative thoughts and it'll be a piece of cake. PMA, you'll see. First thing first, place the battery on the ground, then set up the lightning rod, and lastly attach the cables between the battery and the lightning rod. Not so tough, right? Okay, so first, battery, then rod, then cables. Repeat after me, Rose. Battery, lightning rod, cables. Battery, lightning rod, cables. Ha, <laughs> this this will be like a walk in the park, Rose. Why are there two cables, you ask? Well, what luck that you asked. <laughs> it's of the uh, utmost importance that you attach the elevator cable first and the washing line second. Otherwise, it's guaranteed to explode. <laughs> Wait, that's just the way I built the battery, so let's repeat again. Battery, lightning rod, elevator cable, washing line, battery, lightning rod, elevator cable, washing line. When you co coupled everything together, 
It's just a case of waiting for a thunderstorm. Capture five lightning bolts, then uncouple the, the cables from the battery. If the battery takes more than the five lightning bolts, then it's, it'll go a teeny bit, tiny bit wrong. Explosions, blood, death, and all kinds of other awful things we spoke about earlier. Rose, don't look so sulky. Positive mental attitude. Come back when you have fully charged battery and we'll bring the old Frank back to life. Oh my god. <laughs> I do believe it says it here. Uh, okay, battery. Oh, oh god, I'm so nervous. It's, uh, da, 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 it's even here. Battery, lightning rod, elevator, washing. Battery, light, battery, rod, elevator, washing. Battery, lightning. Okay. Okay, I'm so nervous. Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's leave Storm down here. She doesn't need to see this. Um, did I have everything? I don't know. Okay, okay. Let's put this down. Okay. You successfully assembled the lightning capture unit. Now it's just a case of plugging everything in. The lightning capture unit is now set up. Now you just need to plug in the lightning rod. <laughs> The rod, battery, and everything else in the right order. You repeat again to yourself what Basilia told you. Battery, lightning, elevator, washing line. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Uh, elevator. Okay. Washing line. Uh, washing line. What is here? Rod. Uh, but where is the battery then? Elevator? Here. Uh, Okay, battery, uh, uh, rod, and let's see now, elevator, uh, washing line, elevator, oh my god, this is so nervous, okay, and uh, washing line, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I just want to run away, you've assembled the lightning capture unit, now you just need to wait for some horrible weather, <laughs> oh, that was that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like so scared. Oh my god. Uh, so we will have to wait uh, until it's done. Uh, luckily it did not explode. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait for more. Uh, in the meantime, while we wait, uh, I'll, I'll see you next time. Uh, stay awesome as always, people. Uh, wish me that I won't die in the meantime. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.